What is up to everybody in my termination? It's your boy, Chunk to the Gamer right here. Back with more out of the park baseball 19, and we're ready to start the World Series. As the O's take on the Reds in a rematch of the 1970 World Series, we'll pretty much have the same lineup as we've had the entire first season. Exception, of course, being Jeffrey Hammond, of course, he will be batting right there. Harold Baines will be batting in the number five slot. Jeffrey will be batting right behind, right in front of Brady Anderson. Leo Gomez, of course, third. He's been struggling in the pro in the playoff, but he only had 11 at bats. Meanwhile, Chris Sabo, he's had, I think, the Lions here, haven't he? I think he's had more of the at bats than Gomez has. Let me have a look at the playoff stats here. Let's see. Yeah, Sabo's had more at bats than uh, Gomez, and he's actually performed better. 8 for 16 with a homer and 6 out of the eyes. He's actually done better than Leo. We'll keep Leo in there for game one and see how he does. Happy Palmer on the cleanup man. Devo in center. And we're ready to get by. The 10 and 6 Eric Canton will face off against the 26 and 5 Matt Messina. Let's play ball. Game one in Camden Yards. Matt could be looking for his second win. Neon Deion Sanders leads us off. Yeah, of course, eight hammers, 44 RBIs between the two squads. 333 in the playoffs, 13 for 39. And the World Series is underway. The 01 to Neon Deion. Being, of course, the triple prime winner in pitching this year. Third base, Gomez, one gun. I bring up Reggie Sanders, 9 for 37 this year, home run 4 RBIs in the pro season. 27 homers, 94 RBIs in the regular season, 281 average. And here's the pitch, Reggie, 3 2. Swing him to strike 3, foul tip in the middle. I bring up the future Hall of Famer, Barry Larkin. 18 homers, 80 RBIs, 304 average for Barry. 13 for 34, 2 homers, 11 RBIs in postseason action. 0 1 to Barry. Pop them up, Chris Hoyles, Rafi Palmero, and Rafi's got it, and the Reds go 3-up, three 3-9, three you're in the first. Mark McLemore leading off against Eric Hansen, Eric's looking for his third playoff win, and he's held opposing hitters to just a 1.88 ERA, so he's been quite dominant. 3-2 to McLemore. Second base, one gun. Skyrokin, 14 for 37, 3 armor, 7 RBIs, 378 average. It's the OZ Future Iron Man. Popped him up. Third base side. And Mr. Fernandez, Tony Fernandez, that is, has the play on it. Former World Series champion last year with Toronto. Came over to Cincinnati. Here's Mike Devereaux. 13 for 32, 3 armors, 10 RBIs for Devo in the postseason. 3 2. First, look, inning over. So both sides go 3 up, 3 down. Kevin Mitchell leads off the second. 3 2 to Kevin. 42 armors, 124 RBIs for Mitchell. 357 hitter this year, as he'll line the basic center field. It's Hal Morris. Morris struggling in the postseason. 7 for 35 with only 1 RBI, no home runs. Morris, 14 homers, 106 RBIs, 337 hitter this year. <coughs> Three in Morris, and he'll draw a walk. Here's Brett Boone, 3 homers, 8 RBIs, 500 average in the preseason. 20 homers, 101 RBIs, 317 batting average for the youngster. Future Mariner, 0 2 to Boone. In the shallow left field, that's not going to be handled as a base hit. Handle a little up. Nobody down on base is Jack. Here's Tony Fernandez. John Homer, 75 RBIs, 305 average for Tony. 1 2 to Fernandez. Center field, this could bring in a run. Devo. That's got it. The runner attack. He does. Third of the plate is going to be. Not in time. 1-0 Reds as they take the lead here in Game 1. Here's Eddie Tolbinsey. 2 homers, 10 RBIs. 
in the postseason that became number 44 guys for the Reds this year. 01. Into right field. Hammond's racing over and he will have a play. And all the Reds can do is get one here in the second. Oh, excuse me, that was only the second out. What am I thinking? I thought it was the third out. My bad. Here's Jacob Brumfield. Brumfield had one at bat in the playoffs. Four numbers, 18 RBIs, 261 average in the regular season for Cincy. 1-2 to Brumfield. Called! Strike three! Sit down! And Knight gets out of the second, even though he does give up the lead. Only a 1-0 deficit. Here's Rocky Pomero, the American League's batting champion, hit champion, and runs score champ. 2-1 to Rocky. Second in homers and RBIs this year. As though it a little flare on the right field for a base hit. And here is Harold Baines. Two homers, six RBIs, 344 clip during the postseason. 2 to Harold. Swing miss, strike three. Jeffrey Ammons, 4 hours, 14 RBIs, 273 average. Postseason play. Pop him up. Palmer, I'll get back to first. 2 down. It's Brady Anderson, 14 for 32 hours, 5 RBIs. 1 2 to Brady. Center field, Neon Dion going over, and he'll have a play. Neo Strand lead off him. Neo Strand the runner. And run up Neon Dan to lead off the third. 2-1 to Neon. Diving stop at McLemore, no play. Here's Reggie Sanders as I'm gonna take a peek over at Neon Dan there. You gotta figure he might be running, so. I paying a lot of attention to him over there. Four straight throws and he's gonna mind his business. 2-1. Eat to right field, that might go back to the track and see you later. That's happens when you pay too much attention to the runner. It's now 3-0 Cincinnati. 0-1 to Barry. Third base. One gone. Kevin Mitchell standing in, 1-2 to Kevin. Called strike three. Al Morris stands in now, 3-2 to Al. Dead center, right at Devo though. Double play. Correction, no he won't. Wait, yeah he will. I thought he wouldn't, but he wouldn't. He was. He's got it. <laughs> Alright. Bottom of the third, it was down 3 up. Need to start a little rally here. 2-2 two -two to Leo Gomez. Third base. One gone. Chris Oil standing in now. Chris, center field. Base it. Mark Mark Macklemore, oh, one to Mark. Second base could be two. There's one on the first. Double play. That's not what the O's wanted. Down three nothing. They're doing on two and two. Swing miss strike three. Tony Fernandez. Little tapper back in the mound. Messina. Fire but be light infield hit. Is Eddie Tolvin. I want to Eddie. Deep to the right center field, that one's got a chance to detract to the wall, see you later! 5 nothing. the Reds are teeing off on the Moose right now. Not the kind of start that uh, Moose would like to have here in the World Series. And Sprumfield will hit one to left center. Brady's got it, two gone. It's Neon Deion Sanders, 2-2 two -two to Neon. Center field, base hit. This time you're not going to worry about Neon. He's going. Third second. And he got him. Blow it by Hoyles. And that'll cut down the runner. Here's Kyle Ripken. 3-2 to Cal. Left field. Handled easily. Devo. 2-1 to Devo. Deep right field. Back to the track. To the wall. See you later. And the O's are on the board. 5-1. Here's Rafi Palmero. 0-1 to Rafi. Dead center field, but it's going to be in the air, though. I guess the O's are on the board, though. Down 5-1. 1-2 to Harold Baines. Popped him up. There you got it. 
And we'll go to the fifth. It was down five to one. In game one. Alright folks, we're back. It was down five one here in game one, trying to rally. Line in the center field. And Diva with a hell of a diving catch. Way to go. At least the graphics are a diving catch anyway. One at a very larkin. Deep right field, and the Reds are gonna get that one back. Man. Moose just cannot keep the ball in the yard. He just can't keep it in the yard here in game one. <laughs> one, two to Kevin Mitchell. Swing with strike three. And for all his home runs he's given up, he's struck out five. Deep to left, and that one's gonna go. Seven one Cincy. And Moose is definitely not pitching like an ace right now. It would take a miracle for the birds to come back down six here in the fifth inning. Jeffrey Hammonds, one two to Jeffrey. Pop him up. Tobin C. Give away the first baseman Morris. And gone. Spreddy Anderson, three two to Brady. Strike three as he goes around. Leo Gomez on three two. Back to the mound on the first, getting over. Birds ain't doing so hot here. <coughs> Tony Fernandez, 3 2. Or 4. Any top and see? Second base, could be 2. There's 1, 2. And we're going to take a front field, 2 2. Center field, Diva will have a play. And Mike gets an important shutdown inning. But the Birds need some offenses, they're going to come back. One to Chris. Line to the deep left, back to the track to the wall. See you later. And they still get a little bit of offense. It's now seven to two. So over Chris Oils. One to the Mark McLemore. Popped him up. Barking going on after it. And he's got it. Now Cowboy. One to the cow. Line to left. Mitchell will not get there. That's an easy extra base hit. And Cow's got a one out double. And Mike Devereaux, who won the Devo. That gets away from Tobin, see? And Cal's gonna get the third. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Center field. Shallow. Cal's probably not gonna tag. Oh, he is. Throw to the plate will be late. 7-3. Here's Rafi Palmero. 3-2 to Rafi. Nine into right field. Base hit. Charles Baines, a one to Harold. Second base, Boone, hitting over. Birds cut into the lead a bit. Still down 5 4. 2 2 from Mike Tino to Reggie Sanders. Swing him a strike three. Mike is struggling here, giving up seven runs on nine hits. ZRA's balloon from, like, what was it when it started? we started this thing, it was uh, a lot smaller, that's for sure. When we started this postseason, it was, uh... Where was it? Yeah, when we started... Ah, oh, it doesn't... Let me see something. And yeah, the last time he pitched it was against Seattle, yeah, it was 491. Now it's ballooned from that, 643. So Mike is not exactly had the best day on the mound. But he's trying to keep the team in the game. 1 2. They're very space it. It's Barry Larkin. 1 1 to Barry. Up the middle could be 2. There's 1. No relay. There he goes. Got the stolen base. One over to Kim Mitchell. Back up the middle. Cal. Hitting over. So, Mike, despite his difficulties, gets through seven. Question is, can the birds rally? Let's find out. Get the bullpen up. Birds need no rally if they want to steal game one. Tom Bolton will get on the boats, pen. 
that's Jeffrey Hammond to lead us off. 1 1 to Jeffrey. Line to the left field, very sick. Good start for the birds here in the seventh. Here's Brady Anderson. Two to Brady. Deep to right field, that's got a chance. Back to the track, to the wall. See you later. And all of a sudden, we got us a ball game here at 7 to 5. And you go, Brady. That'll cut into the lead a bit. All of a sudden, it ain't so ain't so secure now. There's Leo Gomez, 3-1 to Leo. And he'll draw a walk. And Hanson seems to be flying apart here in the seventh inning. That'll be the end of his day, as future Royal Chuck McElroy will come in. Tying run now at the dish, and the person that Chris Wales has already gone deep once. 1-2 to Chris. Up the middle base hit for Hoyles. Runner will hold at second base. Now the U.S. has a potential go ahead run at the plate. The person to Mark McLemore. They want to Mark. And McLemore will draw the walk. Bases are now loaded. Nobody out in the seventh. Birds have a chance to potentially either tie or take the lead depending on what happens here. If they can get the lead, Mike Mazzino, despite giving up seven runs, could be the winning pitcher in this ball game. How about that? 3-2 to Cal. Line down the left field line, fair ball, one run scores! Here comes the second run! And we are tied 7-7! What a comeback for the birds! And the Orioles have come all the way back! They were down 7-0 in one point. They've come all the way back. It's now 7-7 here in game one. And just like that, Mike Messina's off the hook. And if McLemore scores, Messina, despite a very rough outing, can be the winning pitcher here in Game 1. 3-2 to Devereaux. Second base, runner will hold at third. Here's Rafi Palmero. 2-1 to Rafi. Into right field, base hit! Orioles have the lead! One run scores, it's now 8-7. to seven. And Mike Messino can be a winning pitcher here in Game 1. Bolton, of course, still ready in the Orioles' bullpen, as Johnny Ruffin will come in to, or actually Johnny Ruffin gave up the hit to Palmero. I miss sick. Errol Baines stands in, 2-2 to Baines. Flip at the deep left center field, that baby has got a chance, back to the track, to the wall, see ya! Three run home run, Harold Baines, and the birds have just exploded here in the seventh. They were down at one point, don't forget they were down. 7-3 coming into this inning, and they've put 8 on the board. 11-7 birds. Holy crap. And here's Alejandro Pena. He'll take over. 1-1-2. One, one, to, to, um, who is that? Jeffrey Hammonds. Popped him up. And finally they'll get a second out, but it's too little too late. Out to bring up Brady Anderson. Brady's 2-run homer earlier in this inning actually helped the birds cut the lead in half. 3-2 to Brady. And he'll hit a fly ball to left field. He's there. And the inning is finally over, but not before the birds put an 8 spot on the board and take an 11-7 lead. We'll be back for the 8th right after this. And we're back here for the 8th. We're back here for the 8th, folks. O's were down 7-1, to, seven to one, heading to the 6th. They managed to come all the way back. And we're down 7-3 in the 7th. Birds put an 8-spot on the board, and Mike Messina is making up 7 runs in 7 innings, who can be a winning pitcher. So Tom Bolton will come in, make his second postseason appearance. Er, yeah, I think it's the second anyway. And here's Hal Morris to lead off the Reds' 8th. 1-1 to Hal. And it hit him. Here's Brett Boone. 1 0 to Boone. Into left field, base hit. Morris second. Now round up Tony Fernandez. 3 2 to Tony. And he'll draw a walk and bases are loaded. Now round up Eddie Talvency. Into right field. Had to be caught. One down, everybody will tag up and score. It's now 11-8. Jacob Brumfield standing in. 2-1 to Brumfield. Snap throw back to first. 
and he got it under attack. 2-2. Two, two. Third or shortstop. There's one. No relay. It's now 11-9. He can get out of the thing with the lead attack of it, bro. Neon Dion standing in. Second. Can I go to the force? Hitting over. So the Reds cut the lead in half at 11 to 9. And it's now a safe situation, so you know who we're getting up. Each minute. Here's Leo Gomez. 2 for 13 in the playoffs. 1 0. Line to left, and Leo's struggles will continue. Here's Chris Hoyles. 3 2 to Chris. And he'll draw a walk. Mark McLemore as Jeff Brantley will come in to pitch. One on a mark. Driven deep to right, back to the track, to the wall. See you later! Fifth home run of the postseason for Mark McLemore. Now 13 9 birds. Here's Kyle Evkin. Two for four, two RBIs today. Two run double tied the game back in the back in the seventh inning. Seems like an eternity ago, doesn't it? Throw into cow. And he'll draw a walk. And here's Mike Devereaux. Devo in the right field. Two gone. And bring it Rocky from now. Three for four with an RBI. His RBI single gave the bird an 8-7 lead back in the seventh. 1-1. One, one. Driven deep to right center field. Back to the track to the wall. How many home runs is hit in this game? Good God! There's another one. It's 59 birds. Man, oh man, I've lost count how many home runs have been hit. We'll have to look at the box score at the end of the game. Harold Baines had a big three-run homer back in the seventh. It's only hit it a day, but it was a big one. 3-2 to Baines. Swing this strike three. Brentley got him swinging. It's no longer a safe situation now. So I'm going to let Bolton try to finish this out himself. 3-2 to Reggie Sanders. Swing this strike three. Barry Larkin's in in. 2-1 to Barry. Centerfield, Devo will get there. Two gone. Here's Kevin Mitchell. 0-1 oh, to Mitchell. Deep right field. That baby's going to get out of here. 15 to 10, folks. Now the Reds are in double figures. So once again, we got like a football score here at the yard. Here's Hal Morris. Hal, one for two today with a home run. Into right field. Base hit. Reds stay alive. It's Brett Boone. Right field. Hammonds is there. And the O's are going to take a wild game one. At one point, they were down 7-1. to one. They rallied. And they won a wild slugfest here. 15-10 to 10 in Baltimore. Unbelievable. John Smile will start for the Reds while Arthur Rhodes will get the tab for the O's. Man, how many home runs were at? Let me see. There was one, two, three, four, five by the Reds, six, seven, eight. It was 11 total home runs. Six by the birds, five by the reds. Holy crap, that was like home run derby out there. And Mike Messina, despite giving up seven runs in seven innings, definitely not his best work out there. Yeah, seven runs in seven innings, he still comes away as the winning pitcher. And Tom Bolton, even though he did get up the home run in the ninth, it doesn't come back to hurt him. And at Trillis sure, and start by Eric Hansen is not wasted, thanks to Chuck McElroy. He takes the loss and has a blown save to his credit. It was amazing, they left only one guy on base the entire game. Wow. Anyways, um, 
It was in 15 runs and 14 hits, Reds 10 runs on 13. But still, 12 runs over the last two innings, that'll do it. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay, that was a comeback. Alright, cool. Good to have that. Um, let's see, get this set up there. Brad Pennington though, the response of DL, I can't use him, so. I mean, I put him on the roster, but I can't put him in the playoff roster, of course. But anyway, um, wait, they tapped it was gonna be frickin' Arthur Rhodes, is it Rhodes or, or uh, Ben Mc Okay, it's Ben McDonald, I guess. Is he gonna pitch? Let me see. Yeah, it's Ben McDonald. I don't know why the report said that, and then it's saying Arthur Rhodes and Dan Moore. It, it's got everything all confused. Anyways, we took game one, folks. Hope you enjoy game one of the World Series. I enjoyed bringing it to you. Until next time, it's your boy Chance to give it out. Remember to like this video, please give it a like, and subscribe during termination today. Also check my friend Mel at at him for our wrestling know-how, if you're into that sort of thing. And help us out during the day of you purchase, you'll need to know that all our videos are legitimate. And also check my Twitter feed at willcg underscore yt, so you guys are made aware of any video updates I make and things like that. Until next time, peace out.